Eight men battled for a place in the semi-finals of the Shanghai Rolex Masters on Friday as the penultimate event at 1000's level built to a climax. Defending champion Andy Murray took on Matthew Ebden of Australia. 124 in the world, he defeated eighth seed Gilles Simon in the previous round. Just the second qualifier to make a Masters 1000 quarterfinal all season, Ebden held his own in the opening exchanges, but Murray made his move at the right time. And now finally he's got the breakthrough. And the second set proved all too easy for the Scot, who has not lost to a player ranked outside the top 40 since March. Ah, oh, way too good. Murray needed just 85 minutes to take their first meeting ensuring another monumental upset would not affect the draw. That will do it for the tournament's number two seed. It's been a fantastic week for the young Australian Matthew Ebden. He's beaten some quality players, an excellent win against Gilles Seymour, and it's taken probably the best player on tour in the last couple of weeks to knock him out. He is without a doubt the man to beat this week. Uh, it'll be tough. He's uh, this is the best week of, of his life on the on the tour, and he had a great win against Songa the other day, and again against Dogopolov. So he also he's going to be the highest ranked Japanese player ever. So I think he's playing a little bit freer with, with a little bit more confidence um, because he's got that sort of monkey off his back a little bit. And I look forward to it. Should be a, a tough match. Earlier in the day, David Ferrer, safe in the knowledge that he had qualified for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, had a hand in Andy Roddick's resurgent claim for a place, as he could rise to ninth in the race for London were he to win the title here. Oh, that's a lovely shot. A high-quality three-setter ensued, but it was the higher-ranked Ferrer who eventually came out on top to reach his eighth semi-final of the year. Magnificent! The world number five would lie in wait for either 15th seed Florian Meyer after he dumped out top seed Rafael Nadal in the previous round or another Spaniard Feliciano Lopez who had a big result himself in removing world number seven Thomas Burdick. Lopez had the upper hand in their previous meetings winning both in straight sets and he broke the German for just the second and third time this week to take the first set. Oh, what a shot! Very much better after like that was. Lopez marched to the semi-final in Shanghai for the second time in three years. He's missed it. A really good performance by the Spaniards. It's definitely a good call for me this one. I have a couple of good wins this year when I reached the semis. This year again, yesterday I played a <coughs> great match against Thomas. Today again, so hopefully tomorrow this, this, this level is going to continue like this. The other quarter-final featured two debutants in the last eight at a Masters 1000 event. Japan's Kei Nishikori faced 12th seed Alexander Dolgopolov for the first time, and the highest ranked Japanese player ever oozed confidence to reach the last four where he would face Murray. The finalists of the Shanghai Rolex Masters will be decided on Saturday, with history sure to be made.